The movie opens with Lavinia performing a ritual to heal her mother of cancer and to make her escape the horrible place that she was in. Their father, Nathan Gardner, has just moved his wife Teresa and his kids Jack, Benny and our main girl Lavinia from the big city to his father's farm to get away from city life after his wife got diagnosed with cancer. Lavinia is not a fan of this decision and doesn't want to spend her life drinking water from a well and milk from alpacas. But before she can finish her ritual, she is interrupted by Ward Phillips, a hydrologist for a water company taking survey of the area for a big dam project. She tells him that he was trespassing private property and tells him to go back, but we also see that she is smitten by him. She gets back to the main house and gets into an argument with Nathan about her staying late, which he argues will make her mother worried, and she is then told to get her younger brother Benny, who just spends his time hiding in the barn and smoking weed. As the two return back, they find their youngest brother Jake staring down the water well, and they all go back in. After all the family was gathered, they have dinner which Nathan made, and none of the kids seem to be a fan of it, especially Lavinia, who just secretly gives her food to their dog Sam. Everyone, after dinner, goes to bed, and Nathan tries to fool around with Teresa after not being able to do so for months after her surgery. Jack then starts having a bad dream, and suddenly, a pink circle of light flashes from the sky into the house, and as the pink glowing meteor crash lands into their front yard, Jack, whose window was not shaded, sees the pink color coming to him and sends him in shock, and he briefly for a moment stops talking. Everyone rushes out of their room after hearing the noise, and they find the pink glowing meteor and call the police. They are then able to calm down Jack, who tells them that his head is hurting, and they all go back to sleep. The next morning, the sheriff and the mayor come to visit the area to check the meteor, which has begun to sink into the earth. Nathan can't get close to it as he can't stand the smell, but no one else seems to smell anything. Ward appears shortly after, and he figures out that it's probably a meteor, and Lavinia is quite excited because she thinks maybe her ritual is what caused this. Ward and Benny then go to visit Ezra, who is a squatter in the property, and he gives them his water, but before he drinks it, Ward sees the water is coming from the well and has something wrong with it, so he tells them to drink bottled water until he runs a test. That night, a massive thunderstorm starts and the meteor starts pulling in the thunder, creating pink lightning. Lavinia is mesmerized by it and she keeps staring at it while getting wet by the rain until Nathan gets her back inside the house. Ward, who is living in a tent outside the property, tests the water and finds unsettling results, and his radio then starts malfunctioning and becomes static, and his phone then rings but there's also just static, and he gets incredibly freaked out. And adding to his confusion and fear, he starts seeing the color pink on the tree leaves, then his car starts itself and runs for a few seconds before shutting off. The next morning, the meteor has gone deep underground, and Nathan and his wife start seeing new red flowers around their front yard too. They don't personally think much of it, but the news arrives after hearing about the meteor. And at night, when Nathan was watching the news, he sees everyone is making fun of him as the news made it seem like he said he saw a UFO. Angry, he tells Jack to call Teresa, who was cutting carrots for dinner. But when Jack goes to call her, she's fully zoned out, and she cuts off two of her fingers. Nathan then takes her to the hospital, which is far in the city, and leaves Benny in charge. The next morning, Benny gets up early to feed the alpacas, but when Lavinia gets gets up, they find the alpacas are still hungry, and Benny takes them out again to feed them. In the front lawn, Jack was sitting in front of the well, and when Lavinia asks him what he was doing, he tells her he was talking to a friend in the well, and she then leaves confused, but Jack sees an alien insect come out of the well and flying off. Lavinia washes the knife that had her mom's blood on it, but she also starts to see pink, and the faucet also turns red, which makes her ill and she vomits in the bathroom, and she then tries to call Nathan, but the network is static. Ward Ward then comes to her house and warns her not to drink the water, as he is found it to be contaminated. He then goes to Ezra's house and tells him the same thing, and he is shown a recording of static sounds of unknown origin, which Ezra heard and recorded last night. Ezra is convinced that an alien is living under his home, and that his cat has also been taken. Ezra is a bit of a hippie though, so Ward doesn't believe him, and tells him that the static is just a geothermal activity. Later that night, as Jack and his dog Sam were sitting in front of the well, the pink light emerges from the well, and Sam Sam starts barking and then runs into it. Lavinia's head was hurting, so she goes to talk to Benny, but he was not in his room, and his computer has also turned static. Benny then returns with the alpacas, and tells Lavinia that the time just went immediately from day to night, and they both figure out something weird is going on, and believe it has something to do with the meteor. Nathan and Teresa come back from the hospital, and Nathan gets angry at Benny and Lavinia, when he sees the alpacas still outside. The two try to tell him that there's something weird going on, but he just snaps 
at them and doesn't listen. Later, while taking a shower, Nathan finds something gooey in his shower. He gets freaked out and leaves, and he finds Jack telling Teresa that Sam has also joined their grandpa, who's actually dead. And she responds by telling him that Sam is just running around outside. Nathan is still bothered by the same smell that he just can't get rid of, but then again, nobody else can smell it. The next morning, Nathan goes to pick up his ripe tomatoes, which have grown a month faster, and Teresa was on a work call upstairs, and her connection just cuts off, and upset, she comes to Nathan and asks him why he hasn't fixed the network dish, but he informs her that he already did in the morning, and that it was working fine. He then tastes his tomatoes, but gets extremely angry when he finds out that the tomatoes are not edible. The two of them then get into a massive fight, and Teresa leaves upset. Later that night, Lavinia and Benny plunt around out of the property, but while packing up, she finds a demonic ritual book. She follows the rules and starts cutting herself in the hand, chest, and forehead by a box cutter, and she watches the symbols with it, pouring her blood onto the book, and prays for her family to be saved. Teresa then hears Jack and Benny screaming after entering the alpaca stable, and she rushes to their aid, but when she gets there, they see the pink light coming out of the animals toward them. They all run out, but only Benny makes it away, as the bolt of color fuses Teresa and Jack together into a deranged mass. Basically, Jack is stuck in her back, and their skin has turned into mostly gooey material, and their eyes are purple. Nathan comes shortly after, and they bring them to the attic, after finding out that sunlight harms them, and the true try to make a word out, but they only manage to scream. Nathan tries to call the police, but nothing works, and he goes to his car to get help, but his car's battery has been drained, too. Benny reveals what he saw last night, and tells them that the alpacas have mutated to something unearthly, and they also see that Teresa's body is trying to engulf Jack's body back inside of her. And from here we understand that the meteor also has the power to control time in a bizarre way. Teresa's body was actually trying to adjust to the time before Jack's body was inside of it, but at some point, Teresa just started to assimilate Jack. Nathan's body has also started to crumble as his skin starts to dry and fracture, but he ignores it as a rash and gets back to watching the static TV. He then gets sick of the alpaca screaming, and he grabs his shotgun and kills them all. Benny and Lavinia hear the gunshot as they feed their mom, and Nathan then returns to the attic with his shotgun and tells the two to go downstairs. Knowing what's gonna happen next, the two tell their mom that they love her and leave, but Nathan couldn't bring himself to kill her, and he kisses her and tells her that he will find a way to help. Meanwhile, Lavinia and Benny decide to finally leave using Lavinia's horse, but the horse's eye turns pink and it turns away from the property, and they then plan to just go on foot. But unfortunately, as they pass the well, Benny hears Sam's voice and he decides to climb in and get him, and Lavinia begs him not to do it, but he doesn't listen to her and climbs in, and the pink light appears and consumes him. Lavinia manages to escape, but Nathan grabs her and tells her family stays together, and he then throws her in the attic with her mom and tells her to feed her before locking her in there. While this was going on, Ward and the sheriff were coming to the property after another farmer found a dead mutated fused animal. And Ward has figured out that the animals were radiation burned and connected to the meteor once he sees that one of the animals were Ezra's cat. As they get into the property, they only find Nathan, and when they ask Ward where his children and his wife are, he tells them that they're sitting in the couches, which were actually empty. They then hear Lavinia screaming in the attic, and they rush to the noise and they break the door, and they find Lavinia getting attacked by the fused mom and brother, then out of nowhere, Nathan appears and shoots and kills his wife. After rushing outside, Nathan sees the color coming out of the well and he tries to shoot it, but the sheriff thinks that he's aiming for Ward and fatally shoots him. Lavinia runs to her father's aid, but he dies in her arm, and she then refuses to go with Ward and tells him that there's no way out. Ward then leaves her there, and he and the sheriff leave to find Ezra, and they find him dead in his room, and find a recording that he left behind, explaining the color is attempting to remake Earth into something that it knows. The two then try to run out of the property, and immediately the sheriff gets caught and killed by a mutated living tree. Ward returns to rescue Lavinia, but finds her possessed by the color, and she tells him that it's beautiful, and the color emerges in full force out of the well, and forms a funnel into the sky, and Ward is shown a vision of where the color comes from, and apparently it's an alien planet inhabited by tentacled aliens. Lavinia is then fully consumed by the color and she disintegrates 
disintegrates. Space and time then start to unravel, creating a fully pink color world where the whole Gardner family is watching the TV, and Nathan runs to attack Ward, but he manages to escape and hide in the wine cellar as the color's distortion of reality creates instability in the space-time continuum, which leads to the destruction of the property. Ward then gets up from the rubble in the morning and finds himself as the only sole survivor in the property, and there's no color as everything has turned into gray ash. In an epilogue, a paranoid and traumatized Ward stands on top of the finished dam which covers the former property and narrates having witnessed the color's takeover and he also talks about how he will never drink the dam's water ever again. If you want to watch more creepy horror movie recaps, make sure to subscribe and leave a comment. We'll see you next time, bye!